Hey guys, what is up and welcome to this series where as a confused expat, I'm taking you around with me to find the best of what Dubai has to offer. So whether you're an expat or a local, tired of your go-to spot, wondering if this city has anything better than what you got going on now, or if you're a tourist and you're thinking, Jax, where am I gonna go when I get here to Dubai? Then this is the series for you. If you have a craving for a romantic seafood dinner, if you're looking for tacos, if you're looking for sushi, we have a lot of fun, exciting videos coming up, so hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss an episode. Okay, so for today's video, we are looking at something near and dear to my heart, and that is the humble donut. And you know what? I feel like the popular girl of a donut is a Krispy Kreme. And I'm not gonna lie, it is my go-to choice of donut. But is there something better? For example, if I come to Dubai, I want something I can only get in Dubai. So I've gone and I've found, I've read blogs, I've looked at articles. I'm finding the best spaces for a donut here that are unique to Dubai itself. So without further ado, drum roll please. Stop number one. And then I saw a pink shop as I was driving by. Now naturally, something you should know about me, if I see a shop that's pink, I don't care if you sell post-its, I'm going to investigate. I didn't even know what a bombolini was before. This is a homegrown Perth concept, and the bombolini is a secret recipe passed down by a Sicilian grandma named Lena. And I find that kind of hurtful because my grand still won't give me her Christmas for a cake recipe, and I have begged her. Anyway, if this secret recipe is enough to grow a franchise and to be good enough to take around the world, then obviously, I gotta know what's up. I love the fact of tradition being a part of this place. There are so few places now, whether it comes to donuts in particular, where you do see that family history and tradition. So, let's go and see what Edward is doing for us in the I want to be there and baby dance the night away, I let my head down the fire. Okay, so Chef Ernesto was an absolute legend in the kitchen. I would wife him. Honestly, watching a man make a donut does something to a woman. Anyway, so we got two of their flavors to try. The one is their white chocolate and pistachio. I've never had pistachio with a donut, bombolini, excuse my French. And then we have got the custard as well. And I'm, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to expect. Okay, let's go first for the white chocolate and pistachio. That is so good. Actually, I'll tell you what, so the filling is really, really sweet. Okay, the white chocolate pistachio, it's a rich filling, but the actual dough itself isn't sweet. So it's not like overwhelming or sickly. It's the perfect balance. That was amazing. I, I dig it. It was amazing because you can tell, you know, I've used the word amazing like three times, one sentence. Next we have custard. I love custard so much. Oh, custard on pie. Right mm-hmm that so I watched him make that custard there it's absolutely perfect it's not too sweet but it's creamy oh love a good creamy custard oh that is good I I like that I'm telling you now the rest of the spots have something to live up to um bombolinis my expectations were low you know coming from crispy that was amazing. So now we're gonna go on to stop number two. Thank you so, so, so much. So what flavors are in here? Okay, so stop number two on our list, we've got dough donuts. Dough is a unique concept founded by two Emirati friends here and it is a fun food truck style donut place, you know. I just want to wham bam, thank you ma'am. Drive through donuts, which is absolutely genius. We have drive through coffee, drive through burgers. What about drive through donuts? I don't know. It's in a really fun, beautiful area, Route 66. There are fun food trucks out here. So if you're coming to Dubai, this is a definite must see. Now, what makes dough really fun, unique, and different is that they have a live cooking station. So you get to watch your little bad boys transform from these golden babies into these strong, 
golden warm toasty warriors i am so excited to try them all right so their donuts come in a box of eight i've got their original flavors here which i'm so excited about and they're mini like you know i'm like uh i like bigger donuts personally because i eat a lot of them but it's fine this should be good oh all right so the flavors i've got here is the pistachio once again i think people here just really like pistachio which is cool because i did pistachio cinnamon because i dig cinnamon too white chocolate and nutella this is like their original box like the signature so if you're gonna come here get the creamy luscious box first things first i'm gonna go for pistachio you know i i want the flavor to really pop in the mouth As you can see it's really cute and small oh my god that is better than a crispy cream it's really warm because it's just come out of the deep fryer but it has this crunch on the outside and the softness on the inside, hence the crispy cream side of things. I'm pointing at you with pistachio on my fingers. I'm very well aware of that. That was absolutely dynamic. So the second one we're going to try is cinnamon, which I'm excited for. In case you didn't know, cinnamon and white chocolate are my two favorite things in the world. That's why I love Christmas. Put cinnamon in my coffee. That is beautiful. That is absolutely freaking beautiful. Fate is not on my side today. I'm still so freaked out by the actual freshness of these donuts because I I've just never ever had a live freshly baked donut before. Whoa! That white chocolate, what dreams are made of. By the way, random side note about Jack's, my advent calendar for Christmas this year is white chocolate. Last but not least, we have Nutella. You can't go wrong with Nutella. Put Nutella on a fish, put Nutella on a veggie, it's gonna taste good. And with the quality of these donuts, this was amazing. This is going to keep me good and satisfied until we get to stop number three, which I'm really excited to go to right now because can I do another donut? Yes, I could. Third stop on our list. I'm so excited about this. This is the Rising Dawn Bakehouse. Now, I came across this name every single blog I looked at, everywhere that said that, they had the best croissants, best pastries. Lo and behold, I was like, I have never seen this shop. And it's actually a part of one of Dubai's best foodie franchises. They have Tom and Serge, they have Common Ground, they have The Sum of Us, which is exactly where we are now. You know a place is good when they have their own in-house bakery that gets notable mentions in all the vlogs. And I'm so excited to try their donuts today and something else they have, a cruffin. Who came up with a cruffin? I would wipe the person that actually came up with the marriage of a croissant and a muffin and made the baby we now know as the croissant. But anyway, so we're going to go see what they're preparing in the kitchen now. I heard that they're donuts on Dolce de Leche. I'm hoping they are because I love Dolce de Leche. And yeah, let's go see. Okay, I watched my little babies blossom into what is in front of me. I'm so excited right now. I don't even know where to start. Remember when I said this is one of the biggest trendy booty hipster hotspots? You can see by the vibe now, there are lots of people here. It's busy, it's fun, it's pretty much in the heart of Dubai. <laughs> Guys, I put this honeycomb on this donut and I am ready for it. So this is the, wait, which one is this? This is the Dolce de Leche donut. It's their one signature donut with the honeycomb on top. And it's rolled in cinnamon sugar. It's cinnamon sugar and donut and Dolce de Leche. So let's go. Oh, bang, bang. But that right there, my friends, is what dreams are made out of. And of course, That is pretty much the ultimate sweet tooth. Uh huh. Oh, that is so sweet and perfect. I love that. Next up, strawberry, strawberry cheesecake cruffin, which I don't even know what to expect right now. I do not know what to expect. I love strawberry cheesecake. I love croissants. I love muffins. Oh, 
Can you tell I like food a lot, right? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm ready. I'm so ready for this. Oh my god. I'm gonna tell you why that was so good. Because it's not too sweet, the cheesecake filling. And there's the savouriness of the croissant, of the muffin. That is the perfect combination of sweet and savoury and tart and I can see it's like a flaky croissant but the heartiness of the muffin. That you can't be in Dubai and you cannot come here and not try it the cruffin from this place. For some of us, high five, high five, A plus, whatever else they're doing nowadays, A stars. Okay, so I'm gonna smash down the rest of these and then we're gonna to go to our last stop. Which, I mean, I'm just excited to be eating more donuts, but it can't get better than this right now. So last but not least, we come to Il Donacino. Il Donacino was founded by two people that wanted to create Dubai's first homegrown donut store. And they combined two things that I respect, donut and coffee. So in Jack's translation, happiness and life essence. And it came together and made Il Donacino. They do something unique that no other donut spots do here, and that is they have loads of vegan options. They have 20 different vegan eggless donut options. So vegans, I got you boo. You know, I'm here looking out for you. So what I've got here to try is their signature donut and their most popular donut, which is the Donatino, which is a white chocolate donut with, with a coffee cream. I mean, with a coffee cream filling, you get me. You get me. So first of all, the Donacino, the signature, the thing that puts these guys on the map. Let's go. That is good. I'm gonna make a bold statement. The coffee was made to be inside donuts. That is really, really tasty. Dig it. Jack's a seal of approval. I've never tried a vegan donut before. I don't know what to expect. This is change my life how am i going to feel after this am i going to wake up the same person tomorrow how am i going to leave here still jacks okay surprisingly it's not sweet that is a very light donut like that was so unexpected it's very light it, it's not dense like i would assume in a vegan donut but it was so light i'm so surprised by that and airy i think i actually you, know, you see the coffee cream I dig it in the non-vegan one but this one also for the cup of coffee oh, all right, good. okay so I have pretty much lived my childhood dream and I think everyone's childhood dream today eating as many donuts as I possibly could am I ready to eat more donuts yes I am thank you very much and we found some new fun exciting places today different spots that I had known about before this video Little dough donuts, bombolinis, learn about gourmet foodie donuts with dolce de leche, learn what a cruffin was. And then this at the end of the day, vegan donuts, all different locations. If you feel like sitting in a park, if you feel like sitting by the ocean, if you feel like sitting in cute little foodie cafes, Dubai has something for everyone. And I feel like I'm so excited to see what else this city has to offer. So let me know in the comment section down below if you did try any of these places. Let me know what you want to see in an up and coming video. Like I said, we've got steak coming up. We've got sandwiches. We've got grilled cheese. We've got bougie restaurants. And I'm going to see you guys very soon in my next video. Mwah.